for networknews.com over here at MWC in Barcelona and it's all been over here. Now we can just say we're at the at the Android booth. Yeah. It kind of looks like a, a sushi bar for Android handhelds and device. I mean look at this. I don't know how many devices they put up this little van over here that are passing by. And when you take a look over here at the screen, you can check out all and select all the different manufacturers. And let's check out here the Samsung comes up with the Galaxy tab and you can choose the device that you want. Okay, let's go to the Galaxy tab here. And then you're just getting additional information about the device, technical specifications and whatnot. But you know what? There's so much more cool stuff over here at the Android booth in Hall 8 of Mobile World Congress. And I think, um, how about having a smoothie, an Android smoothie, Nicole? Ooh, let's do it. I'm super let's thirsty. Let's do it. So over here we have the magazine section, as you know, uh, all the publishers uh, are looking for new distribution channels for the magazines. So we have the Time magazine over here. So just come on, follow me. Um, the Pulse newsreader that I, for example, I'm also using on my HEC design. And then you have the Magazine. You might remember this when they were showing it for the very first time at NWC 2010 last year. Over here we have an Android version of the New Yorker. And the CNN app, and some of you guys might remember this uh, from, the, uh, from the Honeycomb. Presentation a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, All see a couple of magazines are now coming to the Android form, uh, not on the Android form, but on the Android platform. If you wanted to just pick a certain topic, like All these different devices, mainly Motorola Zoom, you can see uh, showing uh, uh, the newest uh, electronic magazines for Android. Okay, you know what, how about games? Shall we take a look at the game section? Now look at this. You know, some people were always complaining that there are so many games on the iOS platform. But when we're taking a look at this Android booth here, you see a couple of amazing games for Android. This, this, this Samurai uh, app. We, hey, how you doing? Good to see you again. We, we just met you in CS and he was explaining us the whole application already. Are you still... Oh no, now you got a Motorola Zoom. There you go. So an amazing app. I think, you know, you, you, you even doubled the amount of polygons when compared to the iPad version. So with Tegra 2 you can really get some decent graphics out of here. Let's, let's go to the next... The next uh, stand here, Trendy Entertainment. I think that's this Dungeon Defender. You can, it's a yes. kind of cross-platform, multi-player, online, whatever game. So you can also play it on a PlayStation 3, on your notebook, on an Android tablet, and on an Android phone. And all of these guys can join the same team on online, and they have the same graphic experience. What's this? Do you mean the pages? Fucking amazing tree. You're not looking at that kind of reminds me of Elite, like in the late '80s or something. Like, of course, was a was quite better graphics. So, what's the official? That is that is Galaxy on Fire 2, I think. Yeah, Galaxy Fire 2. Also, also really cool shoot 'em up game. Um, definitely shows you the performance of the Tecmo 2 platform for Android. Unfortunately, it's game over right now. Yeah, um, we already have our video online, so you can, right. you guys can double check this over there. There you go. And look, look, look at this graphic. Oh, these graphics. That's pretty decent, huh? Yeah, I'm going to show you some more right now. There Ooh, you go. There we go. So that's a Tegra 2 tablet running uh, Android 3.0 Honeycomb. And this is Galaxy on Fire 2. Pretty decent. Thank you. Thank you. Silver Tree. I don't know how this game is. It's like a little jumping one. The, uh, yeah. On the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the Snapdragon, Snapdragon. Yeah. Um, 
this looks to me like kind of Zelda style, like manga style, adventure game. And comment you feel like Oh, I mean, look at this one. What is it? It's a 3D adventure? Yeah. Wow. And the old Tiwani Mochi Wallet, Zoomers, Tagger 2, and Honeycomb, I guess. Yes. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Well, you can look at it here. Yeah. It's a better graphics here. Right, sure. It's, it's a little bit scaled up on the screen, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where are you guys from? We're running Network News. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's really cool. So it's, it, it's an adventure, right? Yeah. Cool. And what's the name of it? This is a puzzle agent. That was like 30 puzzle years agent. ago. Okay, cool. Where are you guys from? Taiwan. Oh, wow, okay. Fantastic, that looks pretty cool. So as, as you can tell, a bunch of cool games now for Android and for the Tackle 2 platform. But you know what, now we need to check out the slide. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Sasha! Oh, there you are! Scooter! Come down there! Time. Congratulations! So that was the slide uh, together with Nicole, Scott, and uh, let's check out the rest of the booth. Okay, finally we got over to the smoothie bar and they have like Android smoothies. You know, can you tell us what's in there? Sure, this is our cupcake smoothie. So there's some raspberry, honey and uh, pineapple. Okay. Uh, we've got a donut, which is very much like a creamy uh, strawberry donut. Okay. Gingerbread, which probably enough is like gingerbread. Oh, okay, there and you And down there we've got honeycomb, which is an extra lavender, light cheese honey. Okay, you know, as long as they don't have a blended galaxy tap in there, I think we can give it a try, right? <laughs> and okay. I guess so. Here's, here's yours. Here's my Mine. That's mine. Cupcake. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm.